welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you guys along with me to do some holiday grocery shopping. And I've collaborated with Tangerine. They are sponsoring this video and helping me save money with their new Money Back MasterCard. Now, the cool thing about this card is you can pick two categories and they have tons of categories like entertainment, furniture, transportation, gas. I've picked groceries and entertainment because that's my life. So you get 2% cash back on all of those items within the category and then for new users, you actually get three months of 4% cash back right now, which is great and I'm totally taking advantage by doing all of my grocery shopping. And not only for the money back, but also just to organize everything onto one card, I find with my holiday shopping, it's easy to not really know how much you're spending. So not only am I tracking it with my card, but I've also made a grocery list. So that's key. Grocery list before you go shopping so you know what you're buying and you don't overspend. So I have my bag here and I'm gonna head out and do some holiday shopping and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So let's get going. All right, so we're in the grocery store now and I have a lot of fruit and veg on my grocery list. So we're gonna pick that up first because that's usually what I hit first is like the perimeter of the, of the grocery aisle. So let's go grab that. So I've been obsessed with winter squashes this season and I'm definitely going to be picking up a few of them because I love roasting them, making soups out of them. They're great for holiday parties because you can just make a huge batch and just serve it to everyone as like an appetizer or as a main. Um, so I'm definitely going to grab a few. I love acorn squash and they don't have my favorite, it's delicata I think squash. Uh, it kind of looks like this, this is actually a Spanish squash I'm going to try so we're just going to grab a few and make something delicious for our guests. They're on sale for a dollar off, so I'm stocking up because I use these all the time. Large peanut butter. And we're picking up some toilet paper and paper towel because you need that when you're having people over. You need lots of papers. <laughs> in total best part is is I'm gonna get 4% cash back on my purchase which is gonna help me pay for the rest of my holiday shopping which is awesome so I'm gonna get back home and unpack everything I bought don't forget my bag I'm back home from the grocery store and so I thought I would just lay out everything uh, to see what I have and that way I can start making lists of the things I'm gonna be making 
Um, and I'm just gonna show you some key items that I'm gonna be using to make some holiday recipes. Uh, first thing I have here is some leeks, and I have a leek and potato soup recipe. It's so good, and I love doing a soup when you're having guests come over, because it's a great way just to kind of start the meal, and it's something that you can prepare the night before, which is great for saving time. So I have my organic leeks there, and then I also have a chicken here, and I'm gonna be roasting this with lots of veggies. This is kind of gonna be the main, and I'm gonna be roasting it with, I have here some organic carrots. Um, oh, I have some celery for my soup as well. And then I also have some cauliflower that I'm gonna be roasting. I love roasting cauliflower with like turmeric and salt and pepper. It's really good, simple, delicious, a little bit of coconut oil on there. Yum. <laughs> and then I also here have some spaghetti squash, and this is just gonna be a side. I'm gonna roast this, shred it up into spaghetti, put a little bit of coconut oil or butter on there, salt and pepper, and it's a really easy side uh, to have with your Thanksgiving dinner or your Christmas dinner, whatever it is that you're celebrating. I have a couple of grains here. I have some brown rice pasta, some rice. These are just good to have on hand uh, always. I usually like to have those. I have some coconut sugar here. This is what I use for all of my holiday baking. It's low glycemic. It's way healthier than like the white sugar stuff. I don't even carry that stuff in my kitchen. So coconut sugar or like maple syrup or honey, that's the way I sweeten my stuff, but coconut sugar is a really good substitute for regular sugar if you're just swapping it out in a recipe. Um, and then I also have a big thing of peanut butter here because I'm gonna be, I'm actually recipe testing some peanut butter and jelly thumbprint cookies. Uh, yeah, so that might be a dessert that I'm gonna make. And I'm also gonna make an apple crisp or an apple pie. I'm not sure yet, but I got a few apples, but I also have some more in the fridge, so I didn't go overboard. And I like to do a mix of different apples when I'm baking with them. And then I have some beets and some peppers that I'm just gonna use to make different salads for my guests. I also have some organic soy milk here. I really like adding that to any, any creamy sauces or soups just to make it feel like it has cream in it when it doesn't. Um, so yeah, that's a quick overview of the groceries that I picked up. I will link everything down below as well as a holiday recipe playlist for you guys of some recipes that I have that I think would be perfect for a holiday dinner if you're hosting one this year at your place. So I will leave a link down below for more information about the card. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like food, holidays, and saving money. And don't forget to subscribe for more healthy videos like this one. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Now what should I make? <laughs> so much stuff. <laughs>